Alistair, thanks for the invitation here today to Alcon Components. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you do? Okay, yeah, well Alcon's been going for about nearly 35 years now and we are one of the world's leading manufacturers of performance brakes and clutches, supplying into the most sports sectors like Formula One, World Rally, NASCAR in the States. But we've also expanded now and we supply into the automotive uh, companies such as Bentley and Audi, Peugeot, and uh, more recently, we've started doing quite a lot of business in uh, special vehicle sectors with military vehicles and armoured protection vehicles. And then what makes you a leader in this market? I mean, specialist brakes and clutches, how, how do you get the edge? Uh, well, we've been doing it a long time, so we've got a lot of experience. And we've got some very clever engineers who have, um, between them, several hundred years of, uh, of experience in uh, developing special uh, brake technology you know, it's honed in the in the in the world of motorsport. Uh, and what makes a good brake? Is it the fact that it's light? Uh, it stops the vehicle quickly, or is it a collective of a lot of things? It's a collective of a lot of things. Lightweight is very important, certainly in the motorsport sector. Uh, but very, if we look at the defence sector, it doesn't really matter at all. Uh, what makes a good brake is lightweight. Uh, its ability to uh, withstand very, very high temperatures because uh, we're usually talking about very high energy situations, and then. Uh, it's the nuances, it's how it feels to the driver, how it performs under his foot and then whether or not it performs consistently time and time again every time he hits the pedal. And do you have a lot of competition in this market? Uh, we don't have a lot of competition, uh, but we are right at the top of our game and so there are a number of pretenders to the throne, I would say. Um, but the uh, you know the top of the market, it's, it's, it's very, very competitive, but there's very few of us at the sort of level that I'm talking about. And is everything done here? I know we're going to have a look around the manufacturing facility today, but do you pride yourselves on being able to design, manufacture, test, the, you know, the whole lot? All the design goes on here. Uh, all the testing and development goes on here, um, apart from where we need a test track, in which case we, we go somewhere locally to, to, to undertake vehicle testing. Manufacturing... Um, we do machining here and at our factory in Northampton as well. We have a further factory there. Uh, and all the assembly happens here. We use a series of suppliers and subcontractors for some of the other processes, such as hard anodizing and painting. And I'm specifically interested, there's been a lot of investment over the last few years. Uh, you've bought some Hermley 5-axis machines, I believe? Mm -hmm. Yes, we bought uh, uh, another Hermley 5-axis machine last year. That's already running at uh, full capacity, so we've had to... We've actually uh, rented one and a further one briefly this year uh, to uh, um, to bridge the gap until the uh, the next machine arrives uh, in the middle of the year. We ordered one at the uh, at the end of last year. And why is that the machine of choice, maybe for your for your five axis machining? Um, the importer in the UK is very very supportive. Uh, it's George Kingsbury, and uh, you know they provide a very good service. The machines themselves are. It's incredibly well made. You know, German CNC machine tool engineering is well known, and uh, and you know we've we bought our first Hermley just over ten years ago, well, just coming up to ten years ago, and uh, you know it served us very well, and so we've uh, decided that all of our five-axis capability uh, should uh, should be. Uh, with the Hermley brand, it's working well for us. It's always an interesting question because there is a lot of choice out there in the marketplace. Uh, on your employee, how many people do you actually employ here on this site in Tamworth? Uh, right at the moment, there's 148 of us in Tamworth, yes. And what, what does the future hold for the business when you look at your breaking? I mean, I notice you're obviously into, uh, is, it, is it pedal boxes and, and, and clutches and stuff as well? We have new products coming along uh, in the way of Pedal boxes, as you rightly pointed out, we're also looking at brake by wire applications because of our involvement with Formula E um, and the fact that electric vehicles are going to become more prominent in motorsport uh, in the future. Uh, the future looks incredibly bright for us at the moment. The rate of growth is uh, significant. The opportunities that we've got across all sectors are huge, and uh, we we anticipate you know growth rate of 10 to 20 percent every year for the next few years that's impressive i mean the electric vehicles is a, is an interesting one will will that have any bearing on what you manufacture here is it easier to stop an electric car or or not as easy or it, what, what, is there any you know differences to what you might need to make there are differences uh, it's a completely new set of challenges if the vehicle we're talking about has regenerative braking on it that is the harvesting of uh, kinetic energy and conversion back into uh, probably electric energy so it can be reused then the conventional 
braking circuitry and system has to be able to work seamlessly with a regenerative braking system and uh, the interface is, uh, is quite a challenging area to work on so that's what we're looking at at the moment.